Hi, I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. This is part two of my video, What Finally Woke Me Up. So we get into bed, but I am absolutely in a state of night terror. I'm kind of half asleep, half awake. I'm running the shit through my head. So I get up out of bed and I go upstairs. Now I go into the bathroom, I flick on the light, and I realize that my naked body is completely covered in black hair. I'm just saying, I don't have any black body hair and I'm not a little bit covered in black hair I have what appears to be black pubic hair stuck to me I've got long hair I'm covered I'm absolutely covered in black hair and I have this stinging sort of burning sensation all up my side on my hip on uh, the right side uh, all under my arm here on the right side and up over my shoulder. And I've got this strange pins and needles kind of burning sensation here. And I am covered. And I don't mean a little bit. I am fucking covered in black hair. Now, I'm just going to say that I'm a blonde, and Trevor is actually a blonde as well. His family uh, heritage is from Ireland, as mine is. I feel absolutely as though my brain has exploded. I'm dry heaving. I'm now up against a bathroom wall, literally dry heaving. Um, I'm shaken. I've broken into an absolute sweat. My hands are shaking and I think, what the fuck is happening here? So I grab a towel and I wrap it around me and I go outside and I go into the garage and I start looking around where I find um, they're on the workbench kind of tucked in the corner. Uh, contact lens solution, a woman's perfume sample bottle, like those little skinny sample bottles from the drugstore, um, and uh, some, oh, uh, some lip gloss. <laughs> yeah, there, the infamous lip gloss. Okay, so in this kind of surreal state of awakening, I'm in the garage in the middle of the night in February. I'm naked. I have a towel wrapped around me. I'm covered in black pubic hair. I've got some bizarre burning sensation up my side, which I'm thinking is a result. I sleep on my right side, so I'm thinking that maybe, um, but it's bothering me, and I'm aware of it, and I'm in the garage in the freezing cold, and I'm remembering the the coffee cup sound. I'm looking at the cigarette butts. He immediately got rid of the coffee cups. And of course, I'd walk through the uh, cigarette butts and the beer can on my way out to the garage. And now I'm standing there and I'm looking at all of this and I'm covered in this hair. And I'm thinking, no fucking way. Like, no fucking way. And I think in some way, I'm like, trying to rationalize this, like maybe with God saying like, please, like, please, seriously, like, you know, I, I've sucked up a lot of shit, but come on, not this. And I find myself standing there in this really surreal sort of internal mental struggle with myself saying, come on, Kim, wake the fuck up. And this voice is saying, come on, there's no way in hell this could have happened. Who the fuck would do this? Who would do this to somebody? I, I mean, I just don't understand. It was almost as if Trevor and I had reached this moment, this place where all the shit had stopped. It was over. Are you telling me now, like I'm, I'm talking to myself, are you telling me now that he did this? No, there's no fucking way. There's, but it happened. I knew it happened. And there I was in this horrible, horrible conflict with myself. So I decide, okay, Kim, you're fucking frantic and it's the middle of the night, it's freezing cold. You've got to work in the morning. How about you just go to bed and uh, rethink this in the morning? And I agreed to do that because I'm losing my fucking mind. Oddly, I fall asleep, probably from the emotional trauma, uh, probably passed out, fainted or something from the emotional trauma. Now, in the morning, I don't wake up a little bit. I 
shoot out of bed. I pull back the sheets. It's uh, quite bright in the room now with the sun up. I flick on the lights and the bed is full of black hair. I don't mean like somebody lost a couple of hairs. I mean like he sheared a goat. <laughs> it was fucking bad. So um, again, I'm covered in black hair. I'm not saying much at this point because I truly don't know what to say. I'm really struggling trying to process this. That stinging pins and needles sensation up my side has now turned into open sores. And I mean, in a matter of maybe four hours, I had open sores all up my side, under my arm and over my shoulder. Okay, so what, what am I dealing with here? I'm dealing with the cigarette butts with the lip gloss, and there's plenty of them, the beer tin with the lip gloss, the coffee cup with the lip gloss, the perfume, the lip gloss, and uh, the contact lens solution, hair all over the bed, hair all over me, and I've got open sores now. So uh, this is kind of mounting evidence, in my opinion, that something very weird has happened. Now, the other thing that I thought was very strange is that he had taken a nap in the bed because that's what he told me he had done now in four years trevor took the very odd occasional afternoon nap uh, maybe four or five times and that's in his drinking heyday he would just go and go all day i mean i've never seen him take a nap but when he did he would sit down on the couch he'd kind of fall asleep there for a few minutes and that was the end of it the idea that after four and a half years, for the first time ever in history, on a day when there was coffee cups, cigarette butts with lip gloss, and hair in the bed, that he would have taken a nap in the bed was a little bit inconceivable to me. Oh, and so it starts daily. He is on me about my infidelity. He is constantly accusing me of cheating on him. He is constantly accusing me of screwing my boss. He is threatening to come down to my work and do something horrible to my boss. He is texting me nonstop and relentlessly. He is phoning me and I'm having to go into the bathroom at work for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Why? Because he is in this dire state of my infidelity and he's freaking out and how can I prove that I'm being faithful to him? All this shit is now just being spun in fucking circles and it starts right away pretty much the morning after I woke up with the hair okay so we're at about day three now after the epic uh, goat shearing event in my bed so again we're in the garage we arrive at home and he's standing by the truck and I'm almost out the door and I turn around and I say to him you know Trevor something very fucking weird is going on here and we need to talk about this now, I'm going to straight up say never once in all of the time I was with Trevor have I ever cheated on Trevor. In fact, to this point, the last man I have slept with was Trevor, and that was five, six years ago, whatever the fuck it is now. Um, I did not cheat on Trevor. Absolutely, I did not. But his accusations about me cheating were just getting out of control and out of control. And he was searching my phone and searching my computer. And in the end, I knew sure as shit. But anyways, this day, we're standing in the garage. And I say to him, we need to talk. And he burst into this rant about my infidelity. I don't know exactly how it happened. But there he was. The mask absolutely fell off. I was confronted with something I have never seen in my fucking life, and it wasn't him. And from the moment that mask fell off, I never again saw him. I have never seen him since. Um, that now is well over a year, a year and a half ago. And though I was still with him from seven month, for seven months planning my exit strategy, I never saw Trevor again. After the mask fell off, that thing, that absolute horrible, disgusting creature is all I ever saw. I was pretty fucking shocked when I saw it. Now, in an attempt to tell the story as it happened, I'm sorry, but I've got to move on to um, part three. I'll see you guys in a minute.